Hi, welcome back to our pod vision. This is I Stand Corrected. Um, Tarpon Total Healthcare is your host. We are a chiropractic office located in Tarpon Springs, Florida, and our mission every day is to relieve your pain without the use of drugs or surgery and provide for you spinal adjustments that you can trust. My name is Angel Camazuli. I am the patient liaison for our office, and this is a... a segment that I've very much been looking forward to. Um, she's one of my favorite people. Uh, I feel like I say that often, but like I, I have some of the best people on these <laughs> pod visions that we have here. But this lady significantly uh, does some things in our community that, that others I'm sure aspire to do. Um, one of the sweetest ladies, one of the, she's one of the only people that has the type of energy that matches mine. Okay. And so <laughs> this is Jessica Perry with Game On Advertising Team. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It means a lot. Um, you have quite a journey. Well, like you started from here and now you're here. So when I met you, um, it was on a Thursday, I believe. Wow. Yeah. And it was <laughs> because it was at a networking meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and you were actually, the thing that I was so impressed about with you, it was, it was our first point of connection. I was like, oh, she likes Home Depot more than Hillsburg Diamonds. You <laughs> yes. have tools yes. and you know how to use them. Mm -hmm. So you started with Outdoor Crafting Game. Correct. Correct. So how did that get started and then take us to where you are now? Well, I technically started making the games about 19 years ago. Oh, um, mm -hmm. That I did not know. Yep. My pop is a contractor, um, so I was raised around wood and tools and um, love power tools and saws mostly. Um, and so I started making cornhole boards when I lived in Ohio <laughs> and um, would make about eight sets and then bring them up to the flea market and sell them at the flea market. And while I was at the flea market, I would have my little sewing machine set up and I would sit there and sew cornhole bags and I would get a crowd of people watching <laughs> me sew cornhole bags um, and, and yelling out what color bags they wanted. So I would do that all day and then... That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And their regulation weight and size. Correct. Because I remember seeing that on, on a post that you had done a long time ago yes. at this point. To the gram. I mean, yeah. we we're specific on, on those bags. So, and, and so then you were making those for personal... Like people could just buy them, correct? And then it morphed nothing in. Was on them. Nothing they were just was on wood, them. just wood, sanded wood, plywood. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yes, and people, if they wanted to, they could paint them themselves. So, huh. mm -hmm. so then, what made you decide to add the business component on there? Because then you were selling them to businesses, and they could, you know, for their own logos, correct? And things. Well, to be on there. then I I got into painting them. I would I would do like custom paint jobs, which was really just like two colors. Like if somebody wanted a Florida Gator set, they'd get orange and blue boards, right? And uh, nothing fancy to them. And then eventually we worked into doing um, decals, like you know we would put a Florida Gators head on there or whatever. Um, and then um, started learning that I could do that with logos and stuff like that. Um, and then it's so really, it's been, it's been quite a process. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't until, uh, January of last year, um, that I decided to go full time with this business. And I really just had the vision. I wanted to see my games and local establishments everywhere. Right. Um, I wanted to be a staple in the community. Um, like if you go to the Keys, every bathroom, every women's bathroom that you walk in, they have the sugar scrub. And right. it's like a staple of mm -hmm. the keys. And I just wanted to be that. I wanted to be that in West Pasco. So the sugar you, scrub for West Pasco. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Something you know, new is getting births right now. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I just wanted, I wanted to be able to have my games in establishments. And so my first step was going out to these bars and restaurants and talking to the, well, trying to get to the business owners um, to see if they would be interested in having the games, but then they would have to buy them. And it took me about three months to run out of money and realize <laughs> that they don't want to pay for my games for what I needed to make off of them. Um, so through a conversation, through a couple of friends of mine, um, we we came up with a concept of, hey, why don't we so start you know, advertising on these and right. um, putting in, them into establishments? Um, and so I went home, did some homework, 
and came up with a concept to be able to give the games to the bars and restaurants for free. They don't pay for them. Right. Um, we sell advertising on the games, um, which is a great way for local businesses to get their name out there. Right. It's very inexpensive. It's it's one of the lowest cost advertising um, op- options that's out there. Right. Um, and then we try to give a kickback to local charities so that it kind of just, you know, spreads throughout the community in many ways. Well, and your support of local charities is something that really started to take like to really grab the traction um, of other business owners, especially like some of the the nonprofits that you have supported. Um, yes. And uh, talk about one of the best campaigns that you did for um, a nonprofit. So I have favorites, obviously, and then I have some of the bigger ones. Um, the most recent one we did first quarter of this year, um, we got to work alongside the kangaroo. Um, Carl, the owner, one of the owners of the kangaroo, he, he owns a lot of businesses in the area. But um, I approached him about putting our games into his establishment, and um, and he was all excited. And before the end of the conversation, I stuck my hand out. I was like, I'm going to donate $1,250 to Habitat for Humanity from this campaign I want you to match it on uh, match me on it and uh, he shook my hand and he's like okay deal so yeah through the sale of advertising and a business partner a local business partner the kangaroo in this instance right um, we were able to do our largest donation which was $2,500 to Habitat for Humanity for our first quarter so wow that is great Mm -hmm. and I know that um, because you know I know some of the people that are that are in the leadership there um, Robin was so excited Um, and I would think that any nonprofit that you would choose to support would be so very excited because you go hard. Like, Thank you. Yeah, we haven't had any of them be disappointed yet. So yeah. I guess that's a good thing, right? But right. Um, no, the charities are usually really excited about this. Um, we've done small, do- smaller donations from our smaller campaigns of um, $250. We uh, got to be a part of the Jason Daniel Hughes Scholarship Foundation oh. last year. That was a, a great accomplishment for us. Um, we've worked with the Retired Canine Foundation of Pasco County. A lot of people don't know that the canines lose all of their health benefits when they retire. Oh, my gosh. Um, so it, ta- it takes charity donations um, uh, to get their vet bills paid because their handlers have to give them up if they can't afford those bills. And, oh, gosh. And that can be tough. Um, Pasco County has one of the largest canine um, uh I don't know what that's called, but like the, the largest amount of canines. Canine, um, canine community? Maybe. Are they retired? Um well, most of our Pasco County deputies have a canine. Um, so we were able to work with Gill Dogs and do uh, a campaign there. Um, and, and the Retired Canine Foundation was who benefited from that one. Um, we've worked closely with Crew to 40. We just did a bowling tournament with them where we were one of the sponsors. Right. Um, and then we always highlight the charity at the top of the game so that they get the, the you know, notoriety and people think of them when they're in the restaurants. It might drive a new volunteer, or drive a new donation. That's um, great. Yeah, just from them seeing that. So uh, we just try to, to get their, we try to get them as much attention as possible. Right, right. Um, so... There is another um, campaign that you did, and it was with, it's just fun to say their name, Axel. Yes. (laughs) Yes. It's just fun. Uh, And also, the owner is as tall as my husband, so that's fun also. Yes. Um, But you have advertisements in a very strategic location in their spot too. Yes. So um, for our advertising piece, we don't just do our games and the establishments. Um, We also do what we call our mini billboards. We have four um, in Axel that you're talking about. We do have some (laughs) in um, the Kangaroo also. But we offer, um, for our clients, we offer many different ways for them to advertise. Um, Those are a couple of our community partners that we have our billboards in their establishments, but we also work with um, the U.S. 19 sign um, right there in front of Sam's Club. Um, And so we we like to incorporate advertising as much as possible in in our marketing. So So that brings us to 
uh, honestly, like this is the part of your business that gets me really kind of excited because I've watched your journey, maybe not from its very inception, but from pretty, pretty humble beginnings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To the goat. The goat. Yep. Yes. And the Game goat endor- endor- on endorsement. advertising team, which yes. was flipping brilliant. Thank you. In all honesty. Because <laughs> when I remember watching the presentation and because you didn't tell me about the name. Mm-hmm. And so when I saw the goat up there, of course, people, Tom Brady comes to mind. Right. He's the only one that really comes to mind right now. Oh. Um, but so, and then when, when the acronym was not greatest of all time, mm-hmm. it was game on advertising team which is the greatest of all time. Correct. I thought that was a brilliant pairing. Thank you. Did you do that on purpose? Well, um, the, the, the thought was not just my own. Um, actually when I'd started talking about, uh, game on advertising, so putting the advertising on our games, um, Robin from Habitat, uh, Habitat for Humanity and I were having a conversation and Robin actually was like, Game on, game on. And I was like, yeah, game everybody on says advertising it. team. Like we, you know, and yeah. it just came together. But um, I am a Christian, and um, it was very important for every aspect of my business to also highlight um, my Lord and Savior. So to me, the goat is God. You yeah. know, He's the greatest of all. Time. He kind of is, yeah. right? I have and to so, agree with you, <laughs> right? And if I can be on Earth and get to do goat endorsements here for my <laughs> clients, I think it's a really cool thing. So I'm like, hey. You're goat endorsed. You're goat endorsed. But um, there's a lot of things that go into to getting that goat endorsement. But right. um, yeah, it, it, nothing that we've done has happened by accident, but it's all happened, um, I guess, by happenstance at the same time. It's been a very organic, like like the, a leaf will turn over, you know, the wind will blow it and there. Here comes another great idea. Yes. Um, when you and I get together, we'll be having ridiculous conversations mm-hmm. and then something else, like a seed is planted and then something else gets birthed from it. Yes. And um, which brings me to another part of your business that I think is absolutely, it's, it's definitely a niche. You have, you've really kind of captivated this part professionally. Networking to another level. Thank you. So you have, you have created very, very specific groups Mm -hmm. that, that target particular industries, but they don't, they don't excommunicate others. So Mm -hmm. like when you sit, when you put your trades together, it wasn't just one electrician, one plumber, one air conditioning person. It really is a come one, come all, yes. you know, get together and collaborate. And I and think- find out what sets you apart from the other guy that's in the same industry. Exactly. You know? Because it was so important for me um, in this area. We do have a lot of people that are in the same industries, but um, you can come alongside of each other and work together. Right. A lot of people don't know that the GOAT is actually uh, basically the umbrella for many marketing um, uh, businesses. Right. So I work very closely with Charlene that owns Toucan Marketing and Consulting. Um, I work with the vet that does text and email, and she also does software for her clients and stuff like right. that. Um, and then, of course, incorporating the networking. But um, what we did was we t- sat down together and said, okay, well, we're all in marketing, but what sets us apart from each other? Well, let's use those things to really boost our clients and right. give them something that they might not get anywhere else um, from just one marketing company. True. Um, and so, like with, for instance, with our roofers, um, I may have a roofer that does tile, and I may have a roofer that does uh, metal roofs. And instead of working against each other, why not refer each other for those jobs? And the guy that does tile do a lot of tile, right? And the guy that does metal do a lot of metal. You right. know, some roofers don't do um, the the skylight roofs. You know, True. some of them do. Some offer gutters. Some don't. So there's always things in every industry, even. When when you think that it's going to be the same thing, there's something that sets you apart, whether it be that you do, you offer different services or right. just you. Um, I've learned that a lot this year, that just yeah. you alone can be what sets your, your business apart from somebody else that's trying to do the same exact thing. Right. Uh, that couldn't be more true. And I believe for me regarding you, what is has such a significant weight is that 
you can be in a room with other people that are doing extremely similar things Mm -hmm. and there's not even a perception of threat. You walk into the room excited. You do this. I do too. How can I help you? I've learned that. I've learned a lot about that from you too, though, (laughs) believe it or not. Like, um, you know, I don't, I don't know that that's something that's natural for anybody, but when you learn to tap into that and really work with that, it, it, it sets a room on fire, it does. you know? I mean, we it, we can accomplish so much more when we work together on things. Um, so I think that it's important to embrace whoever comes into those rooms. Um, there's going to be people that um, are coming in to learn kind of from you or what you're doing. They may go out and start their own thing from that, and that's okay. Right. Um, you know, I don't know that I've always been okay with that. Um, well, it's hard. Yeah. They say that it's the um, highest form of flattery. I struggle with that. Yes. Kind of like, it is what it is. I really struggle with that. Because mm-hmm. you feel like you're kind of lending permission to just be all willy-nilly and walk all over my boundaries. Right. Um, but you can't stop people. You can't. From doing it. So what you have to do is really just find your path. And for me, I just want to, you know, I, I do believe in God. And so if he's choosing a path for me, that's my path. Right. And so if, if somebody's path is similar, that's okay. Um, it's going to be different. Somehow it's going to be different. Absolutely. So, and look for those differences because they usually work out. Well, and then looking for the differences. So, so again, another separator is, okay, you, you've got two people and you found the differences, but you build upon it. Mm-hmm. So, um, you have a very inclusive mindset. You don't have an exclusive mindset. That is also something that sets game on advertising apart. Um, maybe even from from other companies that are that are doing something very similar to you. You just don't have the fear of walking into a room and going, "Oh, I'm not going to get you know you know oh well so and so X Y Z business is here and they're just going to everybody knows them and they're you don't have that mindset at all. Well, let's be clear. I probably am a nervous wreck walking into those rooms, but I try to push myself. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't realize I'm a super high anxiety person. Um, Comes out as energy. It does come out as energy. Um, Really just people that are close to me know that about me. Um, But I push myself. So um, I have a realistic fear of going over big bridges, but I push myself to go over the skyway to take my sister, or my sister, to take my daughter to the um, drag races, you know, because she loves racing. She loves speed. And so I have to push myself in every aspect of life. Right. Business is just another one, but um, I'm really, really thankful that I do, you know, and I've learned so much, but I have had really good mentors. I've had, uh, you have been one of those for me. Um, and so I- I see it as friendship. I, I, exactly. And it does turn into friendship, you know? And some of those um, have been developed from from people that we, we were in similar businesses or right. trades, you know what I mean? And so I've learned a lot from a lot of really good people around here. And then what you have learned- you have taken and you've developed and they've been your own. Thank you. And you've, and you've made them your own, uh, I- including the name. It's just a very well-suited, all-encompassing for what it is that you provide. And it allows still for so much growth. Like it might be the size umbrella right now, but I see it being a very large umbrella with a lot of different um, things that are offered Yes, Underneath we're at it. three layers right now, I, yeah. I say. So we've got the marketing. Um, we cover all aspects of marketing. Um, and we also offer really unique marketing, you right. know. Um, we we don't want to turn anybody away from that. So even if it's a small business with a very, very small budget, um, my goal is to pay for my services. Not for them to pay for my services, but I want to bring them clients so that I'm paying for myself, you right. know, and, and whatever those services are. And I, I like to show people that we can start with a zero budget um, and grow from there. And then we also obviously have the advertising. Um, we reach far and wide on the advertising. Um, my clients know that they can call me and say, you know, 
I would like to try this or, hey, I see this, I see billboards or whatever that is. And and I, I get those things for my clients, whether mm-hmm. it's something that I offer or not. Um, and then the networking piece is the third piece. And and we offer networking. We have the groups. Um, we, we set specific groups. We have small groups. Right. But then also I network for people. Exactly. So if my clients need a sub, they're not going to be able to make it to one of their meetings. It's my job to know the ins and outs of their business right. so that I can go and represent them just like if I was a full-time employee for them. And you do that really well. I've learned things about trees. Yes. <laughs> my favorite conversation with my my tree guy, um, uh, you know, Justice with Justice and Trees is my tree guy. And the one of the very first conversations that we had, he came up and he's like, man, are people really going to take you serious in tree service? And I was like, well, Justice Chicks and I'm, trade. Yeah. I'm not climbing trees. That would be a little because they wouldn't believe that. I'm afraid of heights. But <laughs> but if I'm going and talking about the services that he's provided for me, um, then then it, it it's not something that I'm selling. I'm right. talking as a customer. And so that's easy for me. You know, all of my clients, if you go to one of my trades groups, if there's a hundred people in the room, I've used 90 to 98 of them. Right. And um, if I haven't used them, I want to be using them before the next meeting comes around. Right. So. Well, because referring people is hard. There's hard lessons that have been learned by everyone that that is in network marketing. That's the only job really that I have for mm-hmm. our office, which is how we met. And so you are doing the same thing for your clients. You have multiple clients. I just have one. And he's not a client. He's, you know, I work for him. <laughs> yes. Then you work hard for the people that that are your clients. But so one of the things that I love, so you have a very strong social media presence. Mm-hmm. You're all over Facebook. You've created some groups on there. Um, and then you refer and, you know, wherever, if somebody says, you know, hey, I'm looking for X, you speak very specifically and personally to X because you've actually used their services. I've had my own experiences with them. And so it it makes it a lot easier. Um, I love to bring in my landscaping company. Um, I use all around outdoor solutions for landscaping and I love to bring them into a networking room and ask everybody in that room, how many of you guys have not heard me speak of all around outdoor solutions? And there's very few people that raise their hands. Um, Um, My goal is not for me to get the notoriety of of the businesses. My goal is for them to become household names and 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 locally. Um, But you know, I've had the pleasure of working with great companies, Big Burn, um, Big Burns Moving Company. I work with RM Mechanical Air Conditioning Services, all inclusive. Um, She does IV therapy, but I and unfortunately, I was really sick when I had to use her services. But within 24 hours, I was shouting off the rooftops. I remember that. I felt, you know. I remember that. I was that phone call. Yeah, I was yes. so happy for you. Yes. Um, you know, I've I've used all of their services and um even people that just come and network in my groups, the I make sure that I somehow have used them. Um, and I really want to be their client or their customer before they come mine. Well, and how much I mean, that's how you're able to speak to um and that's one of the differences also, uh, because when you talk about somebody, you don't even have to say that they're a client of yours that you, but I know that you've used them because you're very specific and, um, and in a world where, um, authentic in authenticity seems to be the norm. That is something about you. That's not the case. You are Thank probably you. one of the most authentic, um, ladies that I know, but in Back business, <laughs> But in business, um, that's that's not something that is exactly easily found. Right. So when you open your mouth and you give an endorsement, um, you wouldn't have given that endorsement if you hadn't used them, and and then also had you know a good experience, one that is worth mentioning Correct. quite publicly. To so folks. Mm, when I started my business, I was told that I had to have a. Um, a mission statement or business uh, plan. And that was a struggle for me, believe it or not. Right. Um, And so I went to my Bible and I kind of just opened up the pages and um, Deuteronomy 15, 10 just popped to me. Yep. And uh, that verse says, give graciously to others without a grudging heart. Then the Lord, your God will bless you in all of your works and everything that you put your hands to. (laughs) And um, what I've learned is that, um, 
it, it, it it's happening. It, it's constantly happening. You know, um, if we if what we sow and if what we sow is good, then we will reap those benefits later. And I right. reap those benefits from my clients all the time. So um, I love referring them. I love being like um, all around outdoor solutions took care of my beautiful yard and my neighbor's yard and then that neighbor's <laughs> yard. You know what I mean? And um, and then when somebody calls me with a problem that literally their name is the first thing that pops in my head. Uh, if you've been to one of my networking groups, you'll know there there could be a hundred new people in that room. And I usually know 99% of them because I am also looking at other local businesses, not just ones that I work with, but I mean, I want to refer you regardless. I want to help you build good business. You know, right. um, I've had many, many people um, above all uh, roof services has taken very good care of me with uh, my home personally. Right. Um, so when I refer them, it's like I'm referring family, you know, it's, it's, it's easy. Well, you do it well. Thank you. And I am really happy, happy, happy that we've had the opportunity to actually speak about it on a platform that a lot of people will be able to hear and understand what it is that you do and what your mission is in helping small businesses because you do it well, well, well. Thank you. Thank you for being part of this. If you are in need of something for um, social media, for SEO, for um, some type of marketing, even if it's print, they cover a lot of different areas of need for small business owners. So contact Jessica on their Facebook page, on their um website. Facebook is probably going to be the very best way to do it. And uh, and I want to thank you so much for following Tarpon Total Healthcare with our pod vision, with all of the interesting guests that we get to have. Follow us on all of the social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, obviously Twitter, uh, even on Twitter. Look at us. <laughs> I was tweeting all over the place. Um, and again, Tarpon Total Healthcare, Dr. John and Dr. Josh are Excellent chiropractors providing spinal adjustments that you can trust so you too can stand corrected. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.